My name is Nicole Rupp. I teach autistic support here at the senior high school at McDowell. I'm Emily Grab. I'm at Westlake Middle School and I teach autistic support. My name is Caitlin Zapolsky and we are at Bell Valley Elementary. I teach autistic support, so second grade through fifth grade. Autism acceptance means that we're respected for our differences, no matter what they are, and that our unique strengths are highlighted more than the differences. Autism acceptance is kind of like these two parts, right? We have autism awareness and knowing that there are autistic individuals within your community, your neighborhood, classroom. The second part of autism acceptance is finding all the similarities you might have with someone who is autistic. So maybe you like to listen to music, maybe you both like to eat pizza, and then taking a look at your differences. So obviously my friends have some differences from some of our typical peers, such as like sensory needs, different way of going about the world. Some use headphones and communication devices. So recognizing that you have a lot of things in common, but also appreciating and supporting their needs and differences. It really means uh, to me getting everybody just kind of knowing our kids, knowing the different personalities and how they are just like us, even though they're a little different. They're just like everybody else. Like they're teenagers, they're adults, they're young men, young women, like they are just like us. Autism acceptance here at Westlake looks like that our students are included in as much as they can with their general education peers. And one way that we've been doing that this year is unified bocce. So we have students from the general education classes that pair up with our students and we play bocce on activity day and the kids just really look forward to that. And just being in the hallway, seeing the kids recognize students and saying hi to them, um, it's just really cool to see. They are cheering for each other and encouraging each other. And then when we're in the hallways, when they see one of the boys was on the basketball team, so they're so excited to see him. His team did really well. And just finding that familiar face where basketball's a little, like we don't know anybody on the team, but then being able to relate that to Bocce was pretty cool that they recognized him. This is a really good culture in the school and I think Mill Creek entirely, but like this school specifically, it's just a really good culture. I've worked in other high schools where it's very separate, whereas this school, they're accepting. They'll reach out to us. They'll hang out with our friends. Like, they might not know their names, but they'll say hi. And it's a very welcoming environment here. Specifically, like, we have student helpers coming down here to our room. So we have, like, regular education students collaborating with our students. We have um, unified sports clubs. Students collaborating with them at lunch, they're hanging out with them at lunch class. They do different activities with them whenever we do activities during tutorial. There's just a lot of people coming down here and then we're going out there. We have um, gym classes together, we have art classes together, we have all these different things together. It's just really about being teenagers and how to be friends with each other while like respecting each other's boundaries and getting to know each other in just different ways. So autism acceptance at Bell Valley, I will say is Amazing. This is one of the best communities, schools that I've worked in. I've worked in three different schools and there is nothing like this. And I'm 100% honest. You see teachers, you know, who are in the hallway and I have a student struggling. They try to offer support, um, offer helping hand, you know, try to be a fresh new face for our friends because sometimes they respond a little bit better to a, a different face. Another thing is the inclusion aspect of it. So whether it's a holiday party for Valentine's Day, they make sure that we get the letter to go home for um, the parents. So if they wanna do like a Valentine's Day box and they're included uh, when they go to second grade or third grade, they're, they have whatever they need for that holiday activity, which is awesome. Just like you and I would try to understand and become friends, it just takes a little bit extra for us to try to understand each other and understand what we're doing and why we're doing it. So I think that's the biggest message about autism acceptance is just try to understand each other and try to just take a little extra for it. My friends are looking for connection just as much as anyone else out there. They love to interact and socialize. They love to play. They love to be with their peers or other adults. I'll try to include them. You know, 
ask a question, ask them their name, ask them what they like to eat or ask them what they like to do. Try to interact with them because they are the most loving and caring individuals when you take the time to get to know them and they're all just looking for friendship and connection just like the rest of us. I would say don't be so quick to judge. Um, different isn't less so when we see things that are different or people acting in a different way it doesn't mean that we can't do other things it's just sometimes we process things different and um, we have a lot of unique strengths that should be highlighted over the differences.